Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you one of the most beautiful and capital city of British Columbia that is Victoria. We took the ferry from Twasin Ferry Terminal which takes you to the Swartz Bay Terminal in Victoria. You can buy the tickets online through their website bcferries.com or can also get it at the terminal itself. Our check-in to the ferry was very easy and it went smooth. We didn't take our car along on the ferry and parked it at the terminal. But you can take your car if you have family or kids or have plans to stay longer in Victoria. <laughs> the sailing duration is approximately one and a half hours. After boarding, we directly went to the sun deck. He was very excited and feeling nostalgic to be back on the ship after a long time as he has sailed on the cargo ships for 13 years all across the world. Then we came downstairs where you can eat, shop and relax. There are self-serve restaurants and cafeterias and also a designated shopping area where you can get women's and men's clothing, jewelry, beauty products, giftware, books, toys and much more. ਡਿੱਗ ਜਾਣਾ ਤੇ ਥੱਲੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਇਹਨੇ ਇਨਫਲੇਟ ਹੋ ਜਾਣਾ ਇਹਦੇ ਅੰਦਰ CO2 ਦਾ ਲੱਗਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਸਿਲੰਡਰ ਉਹਨੇ ਇਨਫਲੇਟ ਹੋ ਕੇ ਪੂਰਾ ਬੋਟ ਬਣ ਜਾਣੀ ਫਿਰ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਜਾਣਾ ਜਾਓ 
Then we reached the Swartz Bay Ferry Terminal. From where we took 70 number bus that takes you to the downtown, it's free for children under the age 12 and single ride for adults costs two and a half dollars and for day pass it costs five dollars. There's also a 30 day pass option if you are staying longer. The time we went there, they were only accepting cash. Today pass? Yes. Thank you. Victoria is the 8th largest island in the world and the second largest island in Canada. This island is named after the Queen Victoria, who was a Canadian sovereign from year 1867 to 1901. Then we reached downtown, where the bus dropped us just outside the world-famous Parliament building of Victoria. This iconic legislative assembly building of British Columbia has a very beautiful architecture where you can take a free guided tour. From seeing the legislative chambers where laws are made to having your photo taken with Queen Victoria in the Grand Hall is for sure going to be your unique experience. Public tours are conducted Monday to Friday when Parliament is not sitting and run for approximately 50 minutes. As it was a Saturday the day we went to Victoria, unfortunately we could not take this guided tour. But I would highly recommend you to take this tour inside if you are visiting Victoria on a weekday. This is the iconic Fairmont Empress Hotel that opened its doors in the year 1908. In the year 1981, the Canadian Minister of Environment designated the Empress Hotel as a National Historic Site of Canada. Then we took a stroll around Inner Harbour where you can see tiny ferries, seaplanes and whale watching boats. This was a great place to walk and it also has a small flea market where you can stop and shop. It will take you a long time to enjoy this whole path around the waterfront, so 
So if you are a walker and like to see the sights on foot, you are going to have a very good experience. The other beautiful and unique thing about Victoria is its horse-drawn carriage tours. You can buy the tickets on the spot but please check on the availability in advance as there could be longer wait times during the peak season. You can also book this guided tour online which gives you different duration options to select from. Then we explored few local shopping stores where you can find antiques, locally crafted artisans, boutiques and buy gifts for your family back home. There was also a protest going on while we were walking through the streets. These were all the different flags for each Canadian province and territory. Yukon, British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario, and then Quebec, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, New Finland, Northwest Territories and Nunavu.
there were many other places that you can explore if you are staying in Victoria for longer time. It was a great experience overall to explore downtown Victoria. We would definitely be coming back here someday to see the places we missed seeing this time. Fifth Street to Freedom Avenue, Sydney Town Centre. Please use handrails when standing or moving. We took the same bus and came back to Swartz Bay Ferry Terminal and left for Vancouver. Swartz Bay Ferry Terminal. Please keep seats free of personal belongings. The ferry terminal in the evening was very much crowded. I didn't expect that but yes, please book your tickets in advance if you are coming during the peak season. navigation on the air. After one and a half hours, we reached back Twasin Ferry Terminal in Vancouver. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing to it. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up icon. Thank you so much for watching.